of fluorescent paint. Why is there fluorescent paint? Do I have to unequip? No? I can just leave the bat equipped, alright. Oh, that actually, this game feels really good to play. I really like that. I really like that. Alright, let's check out the big door here since I don't have anything else to, uh... Pressing the button does nothing. Never mind. Alright, let's see if there's anything else outside. Nothing there. Nothing there. Wonder what's gonna be down here. Probably death. No, the car's still there. Get in the car, yeah. Get out of the car, no. That's creepy as fuck, though. Oh my god. Yeah, get the fuck out. That makes me think of, like, Dead End Drive. Fucking A. Or Dead End Drive. Is it Dead End Drive? I think it's Dead End Drive. It's, um, you know, that one game. If you guys don't know which one, just look at it. I think I, yeah, I streamed it once, but yeah, I didn't get very far. Made it very hard to drive with my, uh... You know, drive at night. Drive with my what, Scarlet? Why are you saying these things? It's not making any sense. Alright, let's see. Maybe I had to make it really dark to look through the air vent? Is that a thing? Nope, I just made it creepy as fuck. Great. Alright. Uh No, Jumpy Doll 05 did say that this game is more of a mystery than a horror, but I can't even figure out what the fuck to uh to do. That's not great. If I can't figure it out in a minute or two, I'm just going to look it up. Oh, um Okay, I'm looking it up because I don't know. I also can't get out of this, so that's great. Spoiler-free walkthrough. Is there no spoiler-free walkthrough? Okay, fine. I'm going to be using J is Games walkthrough because I don't know. There's no there's no spoiler-free walkthrough for this. I don't understand why. It says here, Midnight Puppeteer is an extremely intuitive little game knowing just how to draw pins and nudge the player so that you don't feel lost, but without holding your hand every step of the way. And I'm already lost. <laughs> okay, where's the walkthrough on this type, though? Is this just a review, even though walkthrough is literally one of the first words on the site? Because that's- it's looking like that. Yep. Okay, great. So, Jay's game, it literally says, walkthrough tips review. Um, it's only a review. There's no walkthrough there. I'm not sure why, but you know what? Okay, alright. That's- that's fine. Mm, makes sense. Unless it was hidden on the side, in which case, your site's not good. <laughs> There's no guide there. Okay. Good job, Giant Bomb. Is there a walkthrough literally just in with this game? Thank you! So I went on to uh, vgperson.com to the actual download page, like the original download page. There's a walkthrough there, so why not get it from the source, right? I have the code, I'll show you what I missed, because of course I missed something. Okay, why can't I get out of this? I'm literally pressing every button. That code didn't work. There. I... Mm, okay. 
Anyhow, I'll show you what I missed. Apparently until I see it, it won't work either. Also, sorry if there's any interference on the mic. I had my phone beside it and I should not have. Sorry. That was the whole thing. 1008. Okay. Now, can I do this, please? open. Also, Loy controller wouldn't work for that, but the enter button did, so. Incomplete controller support. Oh well. Rec room key. Cool. Cool, cool. Um. Uh, in there? Yeah, that was already open. Open the lock. Okay. Wilted plant. I don't have anything to help you. Wow, what a huge TV! Alright. I need a screwdriver, right? I can remove this with the right tool. Yep, I need a screwdriver. Billiards table. Fill up screwdriver between the books. Take the screwdriver, yes. This can't be the... Easy. Jeez, why did it turn on by itself? Exactly! Oh well, whatever. You screwed over, yes. It's actually just empty. Cool! <laughs> I wonder, can I get this inside it? I don't know what to do with this thing. No. I'm sure it's fine. Okay, I have a screwdriver. Maybe I can get that air vent? No. I don't know. Okay, I can. Cool. Enter the air vent, yes. Fuck. <laughs> okay, Scarlet no likey! <laughs> Nothing. Cool, that'll be a great place for me to fucking hide. Cause I know that's what's gonna end up happening. Door's empty. Door's empty. Oh, there's a switch, there's a lever. Pull the lever, fuck it, yeah, why not, it's fine. Your machinery moving in the distance. Hey, what the heck is this lever for? Dunno. Then <laughs> why in the world did you pull it? I don't know. Whatever. Let's go see if anything changed. Probably that one thing. Oh, God. There's gonna be something in that vent and I don't want it! That makes me very uncomfortable. I don't like that. <laughs> my shoulders are like going up into my neck. Anyhow, I gotta relax. Which floor will I go to? Fucking, let's go to the basement. Doesn't seem like it'll take me to that flo floor yet. Why did I even get the choice? <laughs> um, second floor? After playing Masao, I'm just surprised that it didn't, like, fucking eat me. Like, just chew me up and spit me out. Oh, 
Oh, why? Hey, ain't this mansion kinda weird? You're saying this now? Well, what I'm talking about is the structure of the place. It's got an elevator, but no stairs. Isn't that, you know, common for mansions? How would you get to the other floors if the elevator ever broke down? That is weird now that you mention it. Right? And it's also super weird how it's sitting in the middle of the mountains. Well, I don't know if that part is weird. Anyway, I want out of this place, so let's find your pops and beat it. Okay! Locked. There's a picture. A painting of two rocks and a tree. Ooh, okay. Locked. Broken base. There's bed. Scrap of paper. Okay. Alright, I'm sure that'll become clear later. <laughs> Locked. Locked. Oh, another air vent. Of course. Of course there's another anxiety inducing air vent. Why is there something in the air vent? Why is there something in the air vent? And it's full of sand. Something's stuck in the sand. Second floor restroom key. Okay. Alright. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's this one down here. Wait, no. This one was locked, right? Look, look inside. Fuck it, yeah. Mirin Takashi. Takahashi. I can't say names, I'm sorry. March 29th, 2006 in XXXX. Mirin Takahashi, age 11. Eldest daughter of businessman Ikuo Takahashi suddenly vanished from an effectively locked room. There were no signs of intrusion into the house, so police suspect that Mirin escaped on her own and was caught up in some kind of incident. But it remains a complete mystery how Mirren left the house. Additionally, to reach the front door from the nursery Mirren would was in would require passing in front of the living room where her parents were, yet her parents did not see her pass by. Furthermore, the west side of Mirren's house faces XX River, so it is inconceivable she left the nursery from the windows on that side. So how in the world did she vanish? Given the many reports of suspicious individuals in the city of XX recently, police are considering the possibility of both accident and incident. Looks like an article about a missing child, but I wonder why this is here. Who knows? Nothing good, probably. You know, there's usually nothing good about articles about missing children, but, you know. A scrapbook. Look inside, fuck it. Shun Mo Mogi. Shun Mogi? Shun. On July 28, 2006, in XXXX, fourth, fourth grader Shun Mogi, uh, seven, who was visiting his grandfather's house for summer vacation, missing. His grandfather, Shigeru, states that around 2 p.m. they went to the patio in front of his home to do such activities as catching crayfish. At 2.15, neighbor Mitsuko Mizuno came by as Shigeru and Mizuno had a chat. So they talked for scarcely a minute. She vanished in that vanished in that time frame. I can't talk today. Also, kids, literally, like, you take your eyes off them for half a second, they're fucking gone. They're like two states away. You're like, what the fuck? I just stay here. <laughs> Anyhow. Police in initially investigated it as an accident, searching the area to see if Shun had fallen into a waterway or the paddy, but he was not found. Eventually, they investigated it as a kidnapping, but the culprit never sent any messages and the case went unsolved. Shun's whereabouts are still unknown. Vanishing in under a minute on a flat paddy? That's some spiriting away stuff, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> 
I know how far kids' likes can get him in a minute, and if he was kidnapped, there's no way Gramps and his friend wouldn't have noticed. A child vanishing in an instant is pretty creepy. Yeah, and same for an adult. Hopefully this one won't go unsolved. Oh, don't jinx it. Uh, shiny. Report on decay of mansion. Bent pillars, cracked walls and holes and floor of multiple rooms. Um, reconstruction will take time and money, so quick repairs will have to do for now. It was reported that the ventilation shaft on the second floor had cracks in it after opening a hole in the wall of a nearby room to confirm part of the shaft was removed. Also, due to very limited funding, construction is expected to be slow. Oh, fantastic. Key in the desk. Take the key? Fuck it. Second floor reference room key. Cool. Wilted plant. Every time I touch something, I'm like, oh, fuck. 